Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> We're on an epic road trip. Epic! Just past Glasgow Airport. We're heading north over the Erskine Bridge. Um, and we've got to catch a ferry at the top of Sky at Oog on the Isle Sky. At half, we need to be there for half five. It's 20 past nine. So we've got a whole day of travelling to get to the top of Sky where we'll catch the ferry to take you on a, a, a next adventure. Follow that truck. Because I think he's got the Sky as well. I think he will be going to Sky. That's a McLeod truck, isn't it? Aye, you know, so. so we are buzzing and we shall pick you up soon, guys. Bye! So, guys, we are just at Tabbot and on our mystery tour, we it's came. Sandy. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know that guy? Ah, it's Sandy. Well, you have a look. Thank you. Um... <laughs> 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 so guys, I don't know, you obviously, that was just random filming there, but basically I'll tell you about the junction first. So we're at the junction where last time on the mystery tour we went left to go up past Oban, but today we've turned right and this has taken us towards Fort William. But as you just seen in the video, we were flashing a, a truck there. And that's actually a truck that David you follow online, don't you? Oh, he's on TikTok. So the guy, the, the guy who has that is Sandy, and Sandy's on TikTok and does loads of really good videos on TikTok, um, and is brilliant. So yeah, that was that was so random. We've just stopped at the the famous Green Rally stop for some cakes. They do amazing cakes in here, so we're just going to pop in here and get some cakes. But if you're ever passing this area at Tindrum, there's also a water tap at the back of this building that you're, you're able to use. So it's a good little stop off if you need anything. So we're going to go in here and see what they've got. So we've just come down to Portree Harbour on the Isle of Skye. We've got about maybe an hour or so just to to kill here yeah. before the we need to head up to Oog to catch the ferry. So we've just come down to the we've just taken a walk down the harbour at Portree. Quite a lot of things to do down there. Some boat trips. They're all fully booked for the weekend. There's fish and chips. Ice cream, there's a hotel, bar, what else is there? 
Yeah, I think that's better. There's, there's a trip shop right in the front where you can see the different coloured houses and then there's one halfway up the hill as well. So there's a couple of fishing trip shops uh, here. But it's a lovely wee harbour. Lovely when the sun's out. Yeah. So this is the, the parking here, they've got dedicated motorhome parking base. It's two pound to park for three hours and then over there it's three pound to use the chemical disposal point and the, the water tap. So ideal, really great facilities. Right in the middle of Port Tree you can go for a walk about the harbour, walk about the town, get something to eat. Hi, it's ten to five woo -woo. and we've arrived in Oog. Oog. We've been driving all day, we left the house at 9 o'clock this morning. We mm. stopped off a wee bit in Port 3. Yeah. So we're up here, we're just waiting for, for the ferry to arrive. I'll show you the view in a second. And then we're going to go down and check in and get on the ferry across to Tarbit on the Isle of Harris. So I'll show you this view. So that's Oog and the Isle of Skye. That's the harbour where the ferry will be leaving from, but first it needs to arrive. So it's going to come from out there somewhere. And then we'll head down there and we'll, we'll go on the ferry and head across the water. We've arrived at Oog Ferry Terminal, so Another 15 20 minutes to the boat berths and lets the cars off. It's just came in for like Maddie, so we're going to go across to Tarbot on Isla Harris. So, nice sunny night, so just sitting here waiting for the ferry and then we'll be, we'll be on our way. So we got off the ferry last night quite late on, didn't we? Mm -hmm. In Tarbit uh, on Harris. So we've now uh, we just drove for 10 minutes and we've packed up and we've woken up to a beautiful morning here. So I'll let you see it. So last night we got the boat for the half six sailing. Yeah. So we didn't have any dinner, so we got some food on the Calmac and we got a couple of pizzas and chips at really, really good value, wasn't yeah, it? Brilliant, yeah. Really good value. People were so lovely. Every every single person had a story, really, really nice. Good people, weren't they? Yeah. Louis Newland.
then they're like, should you not have hands? I thought I was trying to show them I wasn't aggressive. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't think he should try and jump that. He's gonna try and jump that. I don't think that's a good idea. David likes to push limits and likes to do things that other people don't do. You got a bit of common sense that. this time. <laughs> Just at the tar bit, uh, the council sort of recycling point here. So you've got to put in three pound coins into this meter, and then it gives you access to the disposal point. This will be unlocked for four minutes. Perfect. This is Stornoway and the Isle of Lewis. This is the main, the main town where the, where the ferry comes in from Ullapool. That's Amy. <laughs> That's the town. Lots of bars, shops. A lot of Chinese takeaways, right? A lot of Chinese takeaways, yeah. So there's, there's two chip shops, there are seven Chinese takeaways. Yeah. So we're back and we are just north of Stornoway and heading up towards a lighthouse. So 
What's it called? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> we don't know what it's called. <laughs> but it's definitely a lighthouse. But it's a lighthouse. But interestingly, I think this lighthouse has actually been bought by a private family. Yeah. And they've changed the old lighthouse part. No, not the lighthouse part with the light, but the other part. Like I suppose the keeper's cottage, maybe. Yeah. And it's like a private, a private house. Wee house. Wee house. So that's quite unusual. Imagine living in a lighthouse. Imagine trying to sleep living in a lighthouse. You need blackout curtains, wouldn't you? <laughs> they would be quite, they would be quite bright. Well, you need blackout curtains. <laughs> that would be really odd, wouldn't it? Presumably, the light just shines out. To see. No, but do some of them not do a 360? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure some of them do a 360. Oh. <laughs> if you ever had like a party or I like a disco. I'll, I think I'll do a 360. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sunny. If you had like a party and a disco, you could just like put the lighthouse on like we would have lighthouse lights. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? So that is the plan. So we were in Stornoway, weren't we? That was quite good. Couldn't you find any black pudding though? No, and it's famous, Stone Away Black Pudding is meant to be famous. But I'm vegetarian, you don't eat it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see it. <laughs> it's Stone Away Black Pudding on the boat last night. Eh, oh. black pudding, Stone Away Black Pudding Pizza. They did. They did three pizzas in the boat. A plain cheese, Stone Away Black Pudding and pepperoni. Yes, I had pepperoni though. And I had plain cheese. <laughs> so <laughs> we can't comment on <laughs> Yeah. So you get full TV channels here. I wasn't sure. If we've got the TV channels. Car coming. Hold on. Stand by. I wasn't sure if you'd got all the TV channels here. Um, and the football's on tonight. We've got a Glasgow derby. So um, that's quite good. We're getting the football channel. Queen's Park and Park at Thistle. Yes. Oh, is it Park at Thistle and Queen's Park? Park at Thistle and Queen's Park. It's up for Hill. Yeah. So that's a big, big game in the Scottish Championship tonight. Okay. So I was thinking we wouldn't get it, but we are. So that's good news. We're down here and we'll tell you where we are. Yes. I hear it tells you here what it's called. Triumphant Head Lighthouse. Watch out for whales, dolphins and porpoises around Scotland. That's a whale. That's a brilliant, isn't it? Oh, listen, look at this. Listen to this. In 1956, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles and Princess Anne visited the lighthouse. The seven-year-old heir to the throne sounded the first blast a new fog siren. Mm. And in 1993, Princess Anne, who the Royal Highness is now the patron of the Northern Lighthouse Board. So Charles was obviously, so when he was seven, he came here and sounded the horn for the first time. but. He's now going to be like the egg king, isn't he? Okay, That's nice. crazy. Nice. We'll go down and see it. That's crazy. So, you see that it's here? It's a kennels. It's a kennels. It's a kennels. That's why there's so many pets. That's why people are dropping their animals off. I mean, coming back up. Uh -huh. That's what's going on. So, is this a Stevenson lighthouse? Yes. Yeah. That's quite cool, isn't it? You like lighthouses, don't you, David? Do you? I'm quite obsessed with them. You've been to a lot of lighthouses. How does this rank in your lighthouses? I think it's pretty cool. What would you give it out of 10? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. It's a 10. Oh, it's a 10, people. It's a 10 out of 10. Where are we going? I think we're going to see a memorial. I'm not sure if it's what we've just seen that stone or if there's, if there's more going on down here. Okay. So there was a ship that was sailing into Stornoway Harbour and it was bringing. Was it the First World War or Second World War? First World War. First World War. Mm -hmm. It's veterans back, if you like. And it crashed just outside the harbour, didn't it? Yeah. Was it the Isle of Air? How do you say that? Isle of Air? I'm not sure how you say it, but it's horrific. It basically, obviously, we'd won the First World War and all the families are looking forward to getting them back. And Togmanay, which is the 31st of December, for 
anybody else and um, just I think it was like metres away from the shore or something and mm -hmm. the boat went down didn't it and uh, I think 77 men survived or 77 people survived I should say but um, the rest of them all died. Right, we're going to see what's going on. The names of the men. Wow. So it's in them that the same family. You got the names doubled. This is horrific, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Terrible. Not to put it down on anybody, but can you imagine the feeling of uh, winning the war for the men and the feeling for the families? Being here, winning the war, your, your man, your husband, your son, whoever, mm -hmm. didn't get killed in war, coming back. Well, that's the storm away just behind you. And then this happens. That's the port they should have reached just there. And they made it all the way from <sighs> mainland Europe to, to here. See, of all the disasters, this is actually one of the, I would say this is one of the worst, but this is actually giving me mm -hmm. goosebumps. This is just, you can't even imagine it, can you not? That's a tragic, tragic story. Well, here's some topical YouTubing for you. We brought you to the, the Donald's mum's house on the Isle of Lewis in a place called Tongue. So we'll just flip the camera and let you see this. So that house right there in the village of Tongue, north of Stornoway, that is where Donald Trump's mother was born and raised. And she was there till she was, what, 18, 19? About 18 or 19 before she moved across she to, moved over with to New Donald York. Donald Trump's father Fred, they yeah. moved to New York, but yeah, so there's... So, and the Donald's visited here a couple of times. The Donald's been here a few times, not very welcome. No, he's not very welcome. He, he, he <laughs> flies in in the, the Trump plane and it's, I think it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit excessive, isn't it, for the locals? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it's, it's quite incredible to see, to think. I mean, it's a white house. <laughs> well, it's a bit more grey looking. Mm, I think they're trying to emulate the white house. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. So this is parked up. We are north, a nice little stop off just north of Stornoway, south of uh, Tulsa, uh, overlooking the water uh, on part of the old, the old single track road here. So Amy's just making some dinner. Getting some dinner cooked. And then we're going to watch La Football. We're going to watch the football. Partick Thistle versus Queen's Park. So that starts in half an hour. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night.